So I just have a couple questions for you first to think about. If you want to shout out an answer, that would be great. But we might be here all afternoon. Um, what would you do in the face of adversity? Run. <laughs> um, what happens when you discover a purpose greater than ourselves? <laughs> um, and as Abby mentioned before, when did you come of age? Yeah. So coming. <laughs> Me too. Um, but I do think that coming of age is when you discover a purpose greater than yourself. And this is most definitely at the heart of Neil Simon's Biloxi Blues. Um, so in Biloxi Blues, Simon combines his skill at comedy with richly drawn characters to tell the story of young recruits in basic training in the wartime 1943. Neil Simon is arguably a comic genius and in all of the work that I've been doing on the script, I'm more and more assured of that. Um, and this semi-autobiographical story is also undeniably compelling. It explores the marriage of sensitivity and self-reliance. So in other words, instinct, what we feel we must do to survive versus intellect, what we feel is the right thing to do. And so with this production, I'm really curious in how this struggle between instinct and intellect manifests itself physically. So what happens to people when they are both physically and mentally challenged? Um, or, yeah, physically and mentally challenged. The physicality of this production is going to be inspired of that collision of our gut feeling with our intellect. So that was my way in to this production. But I still wondered how it was relevant to today. It was written in the 80s, and it takes place in the 40s, during World War II. Um, so I was curious about how boot camp experiences are similar, and also how they differ from experiences today. And to help me answer that question, I met with um, Dr. Robert Kodowski. Um, he's associate professor at the Department of History at Westchester University. Um, and in addition to providing invaluable information about boot camp and the history of war and the training of armies throughout American history, he spoke about how these soldiers in boot camp would make up their own songs about the army. So soldiers would use these propaganda songs or popular songs of the day and they would rewrite the lyrics. And this was news to me, but it's something that has been going on throughout history and the military, and it still completely exists today. Um, in fact, a lot of the same tunes have remained intact. It's just that the lyrics have changed through the years. Um, that soldiers, with their time, continue to comment on their social and geographical situation. It's funny and heartfelt and also a little bit sarcastic. So I was also hoping that this sarcasm would be a connection to modern audiences. Um, and so several of our transitions in Biloxi Blues will actually be made by having our very own soldiers sing their own versions of these songs about To Me and Biloxi and World War II. Um, <coughs> I hope that this will connect to veterans today um, and also just our community today will connect them, help to connect them to the humanity in Simon's characters as they go on this journey to discover their purpose in life. Maybe an audience member will even ask themselves what their passion is. What is the passion that drove them to take risk? and ultimately fills you with the conviction that you can make the world a little bit better. So before I turn it over to Jeep, I just want to end with a quote from Neil Simon, um, which is advice for all of us when we're a little bit afraid to follow this passion. Um, don't listen to those who say you are taking too big a chance. 
Michelangelo would have painted the Sistine floor, <laughs> and it surely would be rubbed out by today. <laughs> Most important, don't listen when the little voice of fear inside you rears its ugly head and says, they are all smarter than you out there. They're more talented, they're taller, blonder, prettier, luckier. They have connections. I firmly believe that if you follow a path that interests you, not to the exclusion of love, sensitivity, and cooperation with others, but with the strength of conviction that you can move others by your own efforts, and do not make success or failure the criteria by which you live, the chances are you'll be a person worthy of your own respects. <laughs> Thank you very much.